this Lan Chang Mai Kong family or the legion have 75 million people living in and they live in the different countries, they face different challenges and they have different interests. It's not easy at all for us to really agree on everything. But I would say we are really lucky because the legion have the different regional cooperation mechanisms that enable us to really cooperate from each other. And I would say waters and youth really important catalyst of the shared futures and also the long-term prosperities of the region. So Stockholm Environment Institute or SCI is working closely with ONWR Thailand, Jula uh, Longkorn Universities to Ehrlich and also AMC Water Centers. We are trying to build the water sector's youth leadership network in the Lan Chang Mekong regions that really drive the process on how we can cooperate together across the borders and really think about this home of the Lan Chang Mekong region is a home of everyone, home of every country. According to the recent capacity needs assessment, we found that the youth leaders involved in water resources management and also uh, environmental conservation, they are very keen to enhance their leadership skill and also how they can better communicate and really using the information uh, from their communities, from their research to wider public. So by this way, when we enhance the capacities, uh, not only to have their better skill or experience, but through this, we try to seek opportunity to build a partnership and also trust among the youth leaders from different countries. So they better understand the needs, they understand the perspective from other members, because in the future 10 or 20 years, they are actually the leaders of the countries, they're the leader of the region. And we hope that by this way, water sector's youth leadership network will be a very important platform for them to discuss and decide on the futures of the Mekong Lanchang that everyone loves.